preview of our two-day art and antique sale on the 20th and 21st of March, which is next Wednesday and Thursday. We're just setting up the sale room now and we're just going to have a quick look around, show you some of the things that have stood out that are either interesting or quite valuable. This is one of our star lots from next week's sale, which is by Sheila Fell, who is a blue chip name in modern British paintings. Um, died very young and was born in Aspatria, which is in Cumbria. And this is actually a view of Aspatria and um, it's signed down here in the corner, by Sheila Fell. It's um, quite a well recorded work and beautifully framed as well. It's a top quality modern British frame, so it would have passed through a good London gallery to have that put on it. And it's a, it's a, a very good sizeable painting, a very powerful and heavily painted work. And uh, the estimate on it is something over 18,000, so uh, estimates 18 to 22,000. Um, and she's an artist that can make quite significantly more than that at auction. So we see works coming up making 30 or 40,000 in the current market. So we'll see where that one goes, but that's a, one of our star lots from next week's sale. Just to have a quick glance right behind you there on the sofa, there's a, a very good old Dutch painting here by Frederick Kruisman. Uh, and this is um, one large oak panel and Beautifully painted, very fine. All this net here is, is very finely painted. He's most known for his snow landscapes in Holland. And um, the snow scenes are extremely valuable things that can make um, upwards of £50,000 for, for those, for one of this sort of scale. Um, we're looking at sort of six to 8000 for that, which is... Good value for such a large work by him. Anyway, we'll have a quick scan this way through the picture section while we're on the picture subject. Just one minute behind those. These are all just being hung at the moment. Quite a few interesting pictures there. And then around the corner here, there are four large scale paintings. And these are by Vic Reeves, the comedian. Uh, and he's a very well exhibited artist and, and quite highly thought of at the moment. Uh, these pictures on the table are all by Vic Reeves as well. So there's that, about half a dozen oil paintings, portraits here, and all these bird studies, they're all by Vic Reeves as well. Um, the smaller works, and these are all by him as well, the smaller works are sort of two to three hundred pounds each, and there's probably about 40 in total there. The larger ones um, all have the original gallery labels on the reverse, and when they're in the galleries, these were between four and five thousand each. The estimate at auction is going to be a thousand to fifteen hundred, something like that. And up on the wall here, this actually this is another star lot. This is an original oil painting by Jack Vetriano, who everyone knows about Jack Vetriano, and this is titled um, Lady X. And it has all the original gallery documents and receipts that go with that. And that's going to be between seven and 10,000, the estimate on that one. And next to them are some really nice original um, London Underground posters. This one from Kew Gardens that was designed by Betty Swanick. And this one was actually published in 1937. Um, and I think then she was only about 22 years old when she published that, when she designed that one. This is, all three here are by Betty Swanick. And that's a London um, Railways poster as well. That's quite interesting. Um, lots of interesting things on the shelves there. It's by Robin Phillipson. The Yellow Curtain. That's going to be two to three thousand. And again, we're going through the cabinets here. We've got a Bassett Loke O-Gage um, railway locomotive in immaculate condition. It's a lovely railway engine that, that should be six to 800. And we have a Fred Yates oil painting there. And next to it here, this is interesting. 
Uh, this is a relief cast bronze that's been gilded, and it's a study of the Duke of Wellington's horse, Copenhagen. It's quite a well-known image, that one. So that's two or three hundred pounds. Some solid silver teapots here. This vase here is by the Martin Brothers of Fulham, uh, who are well known for their sort of grotesque bird sculptures. But that's by the same people, the Martin Brothers there. And behind you, there's just some interesting swords this time, quite a few um, in this lot. That one in particular is a nice early blued and engraved steel George III period. There it is, probably sort of Napoleonic Wars. That one. Um, more interesting Victorian military swords there. And what else have we got? So many things this time, actually. There's a, actually, this is beautiful. It's of Blue John here, which is interesting. And a Fremlin's um, enamel sign, which is a double sided one. And a Jaeger Lacoutre Atmos clock. It's rather nice, it's in good condition and, and working order. And more swords, daggers, bayonets on the table there, fighting knives. And then in the cabinet, we've got lots more medals and interesting things there. There's a nice set of Mont Blanc pens that are absolutely brand new, they've never been used. These Mont Blanc, they've still got the paper labels on them there as well. So that's a group of three fountain pen, ballpoint, and pencil. In its box as well. And we'll just wander up, up here. Actually, this is nice. This is a, uh, a David Hockney book here. And it's absolutely immaculate. This is in new condition. And it's called 14 Poems. And it was published in 1966. Contains original etchings by David Hockney. I think there are 13 etchings. Look at that, it's absolutely mint condition. Um, it's signed by Hockney at the back. There's his signature, it's from an edition of 500. And the owner actually bought this in 1967 when it was new. And very well looked after as well. A couple of Leica roll film, cam film cameras there, which are obviously sought after things. And it's quite an interesting range of things here. We've got um, early Coptic Egyptian textiles here, which are 6th or 7th century AD. Something like that, 1500 year old textiles. And some gauges here from Concord. We've got fuel gauges with their service documents as well. And windscreen wipers from the Concord that's at Heathrow Airport now. And a drive shaft. It was taken out of service with suspect wear. I'm quite glad they took that out of the service. And then around the corner here, this is lovely. This is a uh, good 19th century library chair that's a recliner. So you've got these um, sort of catches on the arms here to release it. It's a very good quality with its original leather upholstery as well. And then around the corner, A huge dining table with very heavy cabriole legs there. It's already it's massive. We have another two spare leaves to fit inside it, so it goes out by another uh, three foot as well. It's actually nearly 12 foot long that that table. And on top is this huge. Um, it's a shipbuilder's model of the Archibald Russell, built by Scots of Greenock, and it's uh, an original wood hulled model. And it would have been originally in a big glass display case. It's a top quality model boat there, but very, very dusty. And I don't know where you'd start to <laughs> clean that. It's just absolutely caked in dust and, and cobwebs. So it needs restoring that one. And behind you, we've got cases here by Mont Blanc in its original box. Never been used, that one. Louis Vuitton. 
Some very good bronzes this time as well. And white friars and troika. And then we've got some interesting, always have interesting jewellery and watches, which we haven't really gone into too much detail with for this video, but uh, there's a, a George Jensen um, silver brooch there, which is very stylish. And some nice diamond starburst brooches there. And quite a few watches. There's a very nice uh, retro IWC in this time. And there's, there's this, which is a gold cased um, repeat watch here. So you just press this, press the button there. And it chimes the hours and one quarter. So, uh, so that's working as well. Very nice watch. There's masses of interesting jewellery and and rings this time, several hundred lots of jewellery. But the um, best way to view the jewellery is to have a look online. You can browse through and see every lot has multiple photos and pictures of it on, on the hand as well. So that's, that's good to see. And we've got whiskey and wine here as well. So loads to look through. So this is all online now, so you can browse through the whole catalogue. Viewing is on Monday from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7, and on the morning of the sale as well. The sale on Wednesday starts at 10 in the morning, goes on all day, and the picture sale is on the Thursday, starting at 11, but all online now. Thank you very much.